Hey guys, welcome back. Um, okay, so today I'm going to be doing a favorites video, and this isn't really a monthly favorites because I'm just, I can't keep up, you know. The reason I don't do like monthly favorites is because every month, like I might not necessarily have that many things that I've been liking. Um, so it's more of like an accumulation over maybe one or two months. I'm going to be doing a whole entire video on my favorite skincare that I've been liking because there have been a ton of products that I've been using lately that's different to my normal like regime and that have really just helped my skin so that's going to be the next video um but this one is just kind of like some fashion some like interesting cool stuff hopefully you guys will like it so let's just jump right into it all right so the first thing that i've been really loving are these sunglasses and these are a brand called Covery. and you know okay so for asians well i personally struggle trying to find sunglasses that fit my face you know because we have like flatter faces we have higher cheekbones and our nose bridges aren't always that tall so when i try on like celine or when i try on like any other type of like even ray-bans um a lot of them kind of fall down and press against the cheek and when you smile they like rise up into the air and just like fly off your face or they start like you know drooping down on your nose so that's what inspired them to create these sunglasses or these line of sunglasses that are for Asian faces and it's called the elevated fit and it just means that when you put them on they sit on the top of the bridge of the nose and when you smile they won't like hit your cheeks see like it's not even touching it and they're like really secure on my face and it comes in this really cute kind of leather kind of satchel case and it just fits inside there like that so yeah for all my asian <laughs> sisters out there go check them out Comfrey. second kind of fashion favorite is this cap and it's the anti-social social club caps i got mine in white because i just feel like white is really versatile there's like pink blue, black, red, um, there's like a bunch of different colors but I thought I'm kind of a simple person. It's just like all plain and then on the right side it has the logo, the Antisocial Social Club and I love it like because even if you don't know the brand, I just like how it says antisocial because I'm pretty antisocial sometimes and I just love wearing caps on days that you can't be bothered with your hair like this, like this is two day old hair, I just cannot be bothered. It's really easy to pair with like a t-shirt or even like something more dressy um, that you want to wear during the day and you want to kind of dress down. Adding a cap on it will really make it more wearable and casual. And also it's like really convenient because I've been going to Pilates, I go for runs, I go to the gym and you know after you sweat and everything your hair is like greasy and nasty. So just putting on a cap straight after doing any sort of exercise or whatever during the day, it's really convenient so you don't really have to like carry around dry shampoo or whatever. So yeah, I've been loving this. So I for the longest time have struggled trying to find a sports bra. I currently am wearing the Nike ones, um, you know, just like a normal kind of Nike sports bra. I am a C slash D, right? And it's just not enough support. So I went to Victoria's Secret the other day and I haven't really bought anything, bought in. <laughs> I haven't bought anything from Victoria's Secret before, but I was looking through their sports bra sections and I came across this one, which is maximum support and I freaking am in love I'm gonna go back and buy like all the colors okay so let me just tell you the difference between this sports bra and the normal one this is the normal kind of sports bra right this is like a normal Nike one and then this is the one I got from Victoria's Secret why I love this is because it gives so much support and still kind of keeps your boobs in the same shape like it doesn't just totally compress them down so you look like a six-year-old kid. With this one, it just looks like I have one huge boob that just spreads across my entire body. It's like I don't feel like it's really holding my goods in place, but this one is awesome. My boobies don't go anywhere, they don't move, it feels really secure and it's also really comfortable. And the back of it is like this, so it has the like Victoria Secret thing and then it has like a little thing. Am I sweating? I don't even know. I'm like too excited. <laughs> Highly recommend these bras. There's also like an orange one, which I am definitely going back and getting. 
Oh my god, I'm legit sweating so hard right now. I need to open a window. Ugh. Ugh, okay. The next two products I'm going to talk about are lip products and it's what I'm wearing on my lips now. The first one is this Urban Decay. It's the 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil and I got mine in the shade Manic. I haven't tried these before, I only recently got it when I went to Sephora last time, but it is amazing. It's so creamy, it glides on so smoothly. It doesn't tug at my lips um, when they're dry or even when they're like moisturized and supple. Like it's so nice and it lasts a really long time. I got it in this shade because it's really wearable. I wouldn't say it lasts 24 seven unless you didn't eat for uh, entire day, but I can attest that it does last a very long time. It's actually smoother than the Charlotte Tilbury one. That one is a bit drier in consistency, but this one is really creamy, but it's matte and I absolutely love it. Good job, Evan Decay, good job. So the next lip thing is actually this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick and I put this in the center of my lips kind of just to like give it more of a pouty kind of look. I got this in the shade Nude Flush number 10. It's a really creamy liquid lipstick. I wouldn't say that it's the most long lasting of liquid lipsticks, it definitely isn't, but it's very moisturizing, it goes on kind of satin but it dries matte. So yeah, I've been loving these two in combination. Alright, next thing I've been loving is this eyeliner and it's from a store called A-Land, which is a Korean store. So it's really similar to Urban Outfitters because it's got kind of like hipster, kind of cool, casual. They have a lot of stuff. Check out their website. Um, and I'm really excited because they're actually opening their first store in New York in Brooklyn. They sell clothes, they sell shoes and bags and makeup. Their eyeliner, this is called the Begosfar. <laughs> Begosfar? No, seriously, it's like not English. It's kind of like sweet. It sounds Swedish, I don't know. It's pretty much exactly the same as the Kat Von D tattoo liner. It's like a brush pen and it's not felt so it's able to give that really precise, really bold, really black line on your eye and it's so easy to draw a wing. I just love this. Oh my god, I love this. So if you guys are big eyeliner people, definitely check this out. Alright, so now the next one is kind of random. It's actually this shower speaker. Okay, so quick story. When I go in the shower, I always bring either like my phone, my laptop, or my iPad in there just to like listen to music or podcasts or you know, things like that. But I think due to the fact that it gets so moist and hot and steamy in there that over time my iPad kind of died, like the screen Half of the screen started glitching. My iPad still works and everything, it just, the screen is like <laughs> So my friend actually got one of these shower speakers for me. Your device that it's connected to can be like 5 to 10 meters away from this thing. So, you know, you can like choose the playlist on Spotify, walk to your shower, turn this on and you can just press next on this if you want to skip songs and whatnot. So yeah, it's like awesome. And you can also receive calls in there because it's connected by, blue um, by Bluetooth. Don't make the same mistake as I did. Learn from me, people. Do not ruin your laptop, iPad, phone. <laughs> okay, so my next favorite is a book and it's the book that I've been reading this month. And it's Aziz and Suri's Modern Romance. So. Lately, I've been really getting into stand-up comedy, and if you don't know who he is, he's a stand-up comedian, he's also on the show Master of None, and he's also on Parks and Rec, and all of these shows are on Netflix, um, and it's just so hilarious, so that's what got me into the book, and the book is pretty much just talking about, like, as the title suggests, modern romance, and how we use technology, we use all these apps to try and meet people, and how it's kind of hindered, um, you know, real communication. He also talks about a lot of his own experiences about, you know, like texting, banter, back and forth and kind of getting nowhere and he's kind of just saying like because most people now when they meet someone, it's not like a phone call and it's not going up and asking them out type of thing. It's always through some sort of social media 
through text message and he's just kind of saying the value of our communication has kind of changed and things like that and also really going into how options and choices have changed the way we kind of um, think about a potential partner so the idea of choice like people think okay the more choices the better because then the more I can pick from but actually he kind of like goes in and kind of analyzes and discusses why choice is not necessarily good and refers to a really well-known psychologist called Barry Schwartz, Schwartz and gives you a really insightful but funny way of understanding how we think of relationships and how we kind of pursue people. So I would definitely, definitely recommend this if you guys are single, if you guys aren't single, if you're in a relationship. Um, it's just a really easy read and there's pictures. <laughs> but if you want to kind of get a gauge of what he's like, go on to Netflix and watch his stand-up comedy shows because they're hilarious. So the last thing for this favorites is actually a blog that I read um, and it's the blog markmanson.net so I've been reading him for I don't know two or three years like that's when I first kind of stumbled across his blog and he's an author life enthusiast type of what do you call it self-help kind of guy and the reason I love his articles is because one he touches on a lot of um, themes and a lot of topics that a lot of people can relate to so like relationships um, career trust you know self-doubt insecurities life goals he just touches on so many relatable topics that you can apply to your life or like draw inspiration from or really just like if you're struggling on something there's a lot of things you can take away from what um, he says in the blogs. I'm gonna leave the links to maybe like two or three of my favorite articles from him just so you can kind of gauge what you know the tone and style of his writing is like see if you guys like it but I highly recommend you check those out so yeah that's about it for my favorites video I hope you guys enjoyed this um, I know it's kind of random but let me know what you guys have been liking if I should be exploring or trying something that you guys have been loving because I'm always down to try new things now, remember I'm also gonna be doing a favorites video on just my skincare so that's gonna be the next video so watch out for that thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and welcome if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in the next one that was so not smooth. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Going out apartment hunting in the city is the worst thing ever. <laughs>